Hey guys, so I'm just going to show you guys how to revert to the old theme from the previous RetroArch build on your PlayStation Classic. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. Alright guys, so with this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to revert back to the old theme. There's been a lot of problems that people have been having. Uh, this new theme, this ozone theme, uh, isn't working as well as a lot of people had hoped. And one of the big issues that people were having is when you scroll down to your uh, playlists, uh, the box art isn't showing up and uh, as far as we can find right now, uh, there's not any way to do it, uh, so that way it'll show up in this theme. Uh, I've reached out to the development team and I've chatted with uh, Swing Flip a little bit and he said as of right now there's no way to get those images working. Uh, the Ozone theme is quote unquote broken, it's not working the way it's supposed to, and it has a lot of problems. So. Um, what I think would be best for those who want to have those uh, thumbnails show up or to use the previous theme if you guys were happy with it um, I'm gonna just show you guys really quickly how to do that. Uh, this is gonna be a relatively short video only takes a couple minutes to do so let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing that we need to do is we need to scroll all the way up to the settings section of our RetroArch menu then we're gonna go into drivers and when we scroll down there's gonna be something called uh, menu so we're going to select on the menu and then you're given a lot of different options. There's a GLUI, there's RGUI, there's XMB, there's NULL, null, and then there's ozone. So we're currently on the ozone theme and what we had previously before this was the XMB theme. So all we have to do is hit X uh, on the XMB theme and nothing has happened because we need to exit out of RetroArch and then we need to back into it again. So what we need to do is press the back button, we need to go to our main menu, we're gonna scroll down in our main menu and we're gonna quit RetroArch. So now we're back on our, um, our boot menu and now if we press X again on RetroArch, we should now have the XMB theme active again. Perfect, and there it is. So now when we scroll over to our playlists, we should have our um, our box art there for anything that we've preloaded. So as you guys can see now, I have, um, I've got the box art on the right side and I've got a thumbnail image on the left side. That's something that you can actually set up in your settings. So we're gonna scroll over to our settings. Uh, and we're gonna scroll down to on-screen, or sorry, user interface. And we're gonna scroll down to Appearance. And if you scroll all the way down to the words at the bottom, you've got thumbnails and you've got left thumbnail. So you can choose what you want to display. So on the thumbnail, which would be on the right side, you can choose either screenshots, title screens, or box arts. And then underneath of that, sorry, if you go to left thumbnails, then you can choose screenshots, title screen, or box art. So if you wanted, instead of a screenshot, you wanted the title screens, you would just select that. And when you go back around, now you're gonna have your title screen on the left and your box art on the right. So that's just a, a cool little thing that you can do. Now clearly not all of my uh, games have images, but I'll find one that actually does. Let's look at uh, NES, that's a pretty good one. So with NES you can see I've got my box art on the right and then I've got my um, uh, title screens on the left. I personally prefer the screenshots rather than the title screen. Uh, that's just a personal preference of mine, but you guys can do it any way you want. Uh, there are ways to also stack them and that's all in the settings. So you guys can go ahead and play around with that if that's something you want. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.